Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to learn how to use the Shape Builder tool. And the Shape Builder tool is pretty cool because it allows you to create more complex objects by merging and erasing uh, more simple objects. So I was able to create this peanut shape here out of two circles. And you can see that it is one whole path and it's all merged together. So that's pretty cool. Now you can select edges and different regions of the object and those can be merged or erased to form a new object. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna delete this out. Let's go ahead and create two circles. All right, now I've got two circles and I'm just gonna align these up using my snap two guides here and bring it up here. All right, now I've got these merge or now I've got these overlapping each other here. Now, if you got a if you want to use the shape builder tool, you have to select the objects that you want to merge together. So go ahead and do that, make sure both your circles are selected. Then come over here to the shape builder tool. And that's this uh it's got two circles and then an arrow pointer there. Click on that. The hotkey is shift M. And all you need to do is click and drag through the sections that you want to merge together, and it will merge them for you. It's really easy to do. And all we did was use a couple of shapes and it only took a couple of seconds. I'm going to go back real quick. I'm going to show you a couple more things that you can do with this. Now, if you go ahead and you just click on a section, now you know you're in the section because it has this like grayish background that uh, comes in. If you go ahead and click on a section, it's going to extract or basically like break that region off from the shape. So I'm going to click on this section here. I'm going to go back to my selection tool and go ahead and click on it. And you can see now that it's just that shape. And if I go to this shape, there we go. So it pretty much just broke out that little section of the shape there. It added in these extra uh, paths and this path wasn't here before, and made these two extra shapes. So keep that in mind when you're trying to uh, create some shapes together. Let's go back to the Shape Builder tool. Another thing that you can do is delete out uh, sections or paths if you want to. If you hold down Alt, your cursor is going to turn to have a negative or uh, uh, minus sign on it, and you can go on top of either sections here, click there it's going to delete that section out or I can delete some paths so I can delete that path out and then delete this path out now if I go to use this section you can see that when you start deleting things it doesn't create a whole uh, one single path you'll have two separate if that's your goal you want to have two separate things then you want to use the delete but if you want to have one merged path then you're going to want to use the uh, the actual merging where you click and drag. All right, now let's go over a little bit about the sh the uh, options on the Shape Builder tool so we can understand the tool a little better. Go ahead and double click on it. You'll get the Shape Builder options. The first thing we have is gap detection. And that's gonna detect and show the gap between the objects. So when you have this selected, it's gonna be off by default, you can, if you have it selected, you're able to change the gap length and small, medium, large, or you can do custom. And you want to get this as close as you can to what the actual gap is for Illustrator to be able to detect it. The next thing we got is our options. And there's a couple of different ones here. Not everything's really crazy or not everything's really that important. But the first thing we've got is consider open filled path as closed. If you select that, you create an invisible edge for an open path to make a region. The second one we've got merge mo or in merge mode, clicking stroke splits the path. So if you um, select this, you split the parent path into two. The first edge you click specifies the split location. And I was showing you that when I was uh, going to, when I was clicking the paths earlier. 
We've got pick color from color swatches if you want, or you can use artwork. And artwork is just something else that you've made, or your color swatches are going to be up in the top up here. So we've also got a cursor swatch preview if you want to add that on. And uh, that's going to be able to let you preview and select colors. And down here we've got highlight. So if you have fill selected, it's going to highlight the merged area in gray. So when I had my mouse in over in the section here and the whole section turned gray with that gray background, that's what that means. And I suggest that you have that on so you know where you're in. But if you're working with something that's already gray and it's not working right, then it's not, I mean, you might not want to have it on. It depends on your project you're working on. Highlight stroke when editable. So when I was holding down Alt and I wanted to delete these lines that were in the center, they turned this color light red. And uh, that's what that means. You got this little information bubble here that hold Alt to trim lines and stuff like that. and a little bit more information but that's it and if you want to set it back to the defaults just click on reset and everything is back to the defaults and hit okay to make your changes so that's it for the shape builder tool uh, i'd like to thank you for watching now you know a little bit more you can create more advanced shapes than just a peanut you can take um if you wanted to you can take uh maybe such something like a rounded rectangle tool we can increase the stroke on it and then if we take our circles here, I'll show you. There we go. Oh, I accidentally double clicked it. Put that around here. Let's make this smaller. Do something like this. I need to make this way smaller. I'm trying to make uh, a, a cloud. All right, we got those. I'll select these both. I'll increase the stroke a little bit. So it looks uh, a bit more. And then we'll go ahead with our merge tool. We'll select everything. And our shape builder tool, I mean. And we can start deleting stuff out. We want to delete these. Oops. We're getting some crazy artifacting in here that we don't want. I can go in and try to delete these out. So we got some artifact in here that we don't want. Looks like they might be behind or something like that. Trying to figure it out. But as you can see, we've got some sort of, we've got a, a path here. And I've made what is starting to become somewhat of a, like, a cloud or something like that. It's not the greatest. But you under, if you can understand, you can just make a bunch of different shapes. So thank you for watching the tutorial. I look forward to you guys in the next tutorial watching it. And if you liked it, go ahead and click the like button. Thanks a lot, everybody, and have a good day.